back to another video tutorial. I hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to explain some basic concepts about phototherapy. therapy. We all know that temperature is one of the basic physiological parameters. In the case of humans, any temperature increment above the normal body temperature that is 37 degrees Celsius is usually regarded as a negative sign. So, through the video tutorial, I am going to explain what are the beneficial effect of the temperature, uh, especially uh, in the therm and therapy, particularly in the cancer, cancer treatment. So, let's start with introduction. Uh, basically, photothermal therapy is a photo-based treatment that is used for many medical conditions, especially the cancer therapy. So during the treatments, here we can see this picture, a photosensitizer uh, is there or photothermal agent is there that is injected into the, a particular uh, mutated area, especially for the cancer treatments, uh, we are injected into the particular area and by using a uh, laser source, we can excite these uh, particles yeah, or photothermal agents. So what will happen during the emission, the no, due to the uh, non dilutive decay, it will produce heat. So that heat is used to used for, that heat is used for the um, thermal therapy. Okay. So, uh, okay. So next, uh, what is the role of nanotechnology in the photothermal therapy? So, Nanotechnology is currently a promising technology, alternative technology for many biomedical uh, applications. So, uh, the main, especially the words make nanoparticle become more attractive because uh, the size. Because of the small size, uh, which, which can long circulating, means easily circulating into the bloodstream. And, uh, by functionalization, we can target the particular site. And uh, another one is the biocompatibility nature of the nanoparticle. And uh, next is uh, it produces more heat. Uh, that means the efficiency of heat production is more in the case of nanoparticle than other photosensitizers. So these uh, factors, uh, interesting factors, make nanoparticle be a better or a good candidate for the photothermal therapy. So, in a nanoparticle for photothermal therapy. So, when this electromagnetic rays that interacted with the nanoparticle, so many phenomena will happen. Luminescence or either it is a fluorescence or phosphorescence. Some scattering will happen and production of uh, heat. It's an you know, non radiative decay as far So, and, uh, so that heat uh, during the exposure, uh, means using that exposure time uh, and exposure weight, uh, based on that, uh, we treat the um, particular mutated cell. And uh, is uh, why people are using this near infrared uh, rate rays for the treatment of uh, photothermal therapy? Why? Because. Uh, we can see uh, the bio, uh, normally this uh, biological window uh, 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 referring because this biological window can be defined as the spectral range where tissue become partially transparent due to the simultaneous reduction in both absorption and scattering. So uh, what will happen uh, this biological window? Uh, so, in the first order, uh, in the picture we can see, in the first order approximation, right, the excitation of the optical radiation into the tissue is determined by the presence of absorption band of the, uh, some biological molecule, like a water molecule or hemoglobin, like etc. And by the scattering caused by the natural tissues. So in the figure, in the green shade, that is uh, the first biological window, is extended from 700 nanometer to 980 nanometer, and which correspond to the spectral range defined between the visible spectral band of the 
hemoglobin and the characteristic 980 nanometer absorption band of the body. So in this uh, spectral region, the light absorption is strongly vanish, but optical excitation extinction still exists due to the um, some scattering and decreases uh, and uh, which uh, really uh, relevance decrease for the longer wavelength. And uh, next is second biological window. So this second biological window extends from 1000 nanometer to 1400 nanometer. So both uh, uh, limits corresponding to the water absorption band. This both, that means uh, the 1000 nanometer and 1400 nanometer both are in the uh, water absorption band. So in this special window, optical absorption does not vanish completely. But on the other hand, the optical scattering get minimized because of the longer wavelength. Okay. So this is about the uh, this uh, biological window. In the second picture, we can see uh, the second uh, biological, the first and second biological window. Uh, it is indicated here. It can see that most of the nanoheaters, nanoparticle, we can use as a photosensitized light. Or already told. This, most of these nano heaters operated in the first biological window, but only few of them, like uh, that, uh, called nano road and the uh, carbon nano tubes, operated in the second uh, biological window. At this point, it should be mentioned that for photothermal therapy, the use of heating nanoparticle working in the first biological window uh, seems more advantageous than the second biological window. This is because the first biological window is characterized by negligible absorption uh, so that the heating source would be the heating aromatic. Okay, so next. Uh, next is effect caused by the different thermal treatments. So uh, here the temperature is uh, above 37 degrees Celsius. What will happen uh, in the cell? So uh, it is well known that when cellular temperature that is exceed 37 degrees Celsius, the first uh, is protein denaturation that will start. So as the result of denaturation, protein are prone to aggregate and this aggregate can have uh, destructive consequence in the cell dynamics and survival rates. So, the induction of the cellular temperature above 40 degrees Celsius does not only cause protein denaturation but also is temporary uh, cell inactivation that could last for cell time. So, we all know that uh, for treating the tumor. The temperature is ranging from, uh, for treating tumor, the temperature range from 41 degrees Celsius to 48 degrees Celsius. So that is a clinically relevant uh, temperature range, that is the hyperthermia range. So this hyperthermia treatments are usually compared with uh, combination with other conventional therapy, cancer therapies like uh, radiation therapy or chemotherapy. So, uh, whose efficiency is increased when applied after a hyperthermia? Because, uh, okay, so, so what will happen when the temperature is uh, the clinically relevant um, temperature range for tumor that is 41 to 48? So, in this region, the unfolding and aggregation, okay, uh, that is already told, and um, so uh, after long uh, exposure, less than 60 minutes, reversible damage will happen and uh, so these are the effect will happen. And next is uh, if the temperature reverses uh, above 48 degrees Celsius, uh, that is 48 degree to 60 degrees Celsius, irreversible damage will happen. Like uh, 
if uh, short exposure of this temperature uh, like 4 to 6 minutes uh, some damage will happen, DNA damage and denaturation will happen and uh, uh, proteins, uh, denaturation of protein also will happen. If the temperature is above 60 degree, near uh, some for protein coagulation will happen. That's complete cell death. And uh, if the temperature, this uh, here this uh, temperature from 37 to 41 degrees, that, should, that range is considered as diathermia range. So in that region, um, so some temperature does not induce uh, relevant modification at the cellular level. But uh, the soft moderate heating temperature that have beneficial health effect that are associated with different processes such as uh, blood flow, increment in the blood flow and iron diffusion right across the cellular membrane such as like that. So normally the tissues like tetron can be stretched and that are easily when they are subjected to moderate heating that uh, muscle, favoring muscle relaxation and pain relief will happen. So for that purpose this diathermia treatment is used. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Uh, I hope you gained some basic information about photothermal therapy and what are the beneficial effect of temperature above 37 degrees Celsius and uh, um, how this uh, photothermal therapy means how the mechanism is working. So, if you like this uh, video tutorial, you can share with your contacts and. Uh,